Hi everybody, it's Angie coming on to do Marguerite Miller's collage challenge with you guys. We are on week 33. I've got all my elements here, so we'll just jump right into this, get it knocked out, and um, carry on with our next craft project, right? We've got a bug or an insect, we've got a piece of lined paper or graph paper, a sequence of numbers, something rough, whatever that in whatever you interpret that to be, a piece of dictionary page, and for a bonus, we've got a sticker, okay? So, let's get on it. I have um, these two pieces of paper. They're both digital prints, and they came out um, printed in a vintage kind of tone color, and since they're both alike, my other elements, I thought I'd bring some color to the page, so you'll see that um, as we progress. But this is my dictionary page. This is my piece of lined paper. It's got the lines on it. And we're just going to use these down as a background piece and carry on from there. So let's um, tear off this edge. somewhat straight nope. and then as soon as I say that it slips on me turn it around how is everyone this fine Monday day hope everybody's doing good and in good spirits I'm just trim that little piece off right there oh, God, I missed there we go and I thought we would just lay these down as background pieces, and since this is already eight and a half in length, we'll just take that all the way over to there. And I'm just gonna put a tick mark on the back side so I know where to tear it. Do my half and then switch and do the other half. A little switcheroo. So yeah, goodness, we're already on week 33. Man, seems like it's just flying by. Once we got to about 20, it seems to just fly by now. Before you know it, the year is going to be over. I'll tell you. Goes fast. Okay, and then on this side, I thought I would just use some of this dictionary page. And again, I'm going to take off some of this. I'll use that on something else. And let's see. I'm going to do this one first. that I think I'm just gonna bring my guillotine up 
make sure I get the line cut straight. down right there. Okay. Oh, no wonder this is all gone. Let me just start with the fresh one. Oh. There we go. Much better. All right. Let me line that up again. Okay. Flip a row again. And down we go. Okay. So that's our base. And then I've got other goodies here. It says a bug or an insect. So my insects, I have my, I have my little moths. And I fussy cut out three moths. I like them in odd numbers when I can. So I did three of those. Um, a sequence of numbers. I have this little um, ephemera piece here with the numbers there. I thought we'd use that somewhere. Something rough. And I just have this um, corrugated paper um, arrow. Thought we would use that. And then also for something rough, I cut fussy cut out a couple trees. Bark on a tree is rough. So I thought that's where my color. And then I, I just cut these out of a magazine. I don't even remember. I want to say it was probably like a, a allergy um, ad of some sort. Because it was a lady walking through the park. But yeah, I thought this would look nice bringing some color into my page. So I thought I would use those. And then a sticker. I have a sticker book here. Okay. So let's get these elements down and we're going to be done. Let's see. Very easy. Very quick. She's kind of big. So I think she's going to have to go over here. Otherwise, we'll have to cut her down and that would be kind of defeating the purpose. So we'll just put her right, excuse me, right into the middle of the page. Okay, we're gonna put her down right there. Now, let me just grab my glue book. It'll be much easier if I do it on here. Magazine paper can be very delicate, so you gotta, sometimes you gotta be careful when you're using a glue stick. Get her down right there. Oh, her foot's hanging off. Let me see if I can pull that up. There we go. Put a little more glue stick on this. On this part here. want to lay down straight for me. A oh, little crinkles won't hurt. Just a couple. Okay. 
Okay. So for something rough, I've got the trees for the bark and that might look, probably look better on that side. I can cut that down. Hmm. I kind of want to tuck that under. I wonder if I can get that up without destroying my image. Let's see. I don't know why I'm doing this, but just for some reason I want to tuck it behind her. more tassel than what it's worth, honestly. I think I'll do it like that. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, we'll do it like that. Just to kind of break up some of all those lines there. I don't want all the, right there. Let's see if I can get that under there just so the numbers show and it doesn't really matter about the letters. And then I can cut off what's hanging over. Okay. So let's cut that off. Okay, so that's my sequence of numbers, and then my I think the tree over there for some reason. I think it just looks better on that background rather than that black. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Bring this in and see if we can get some glue on this baby. And down we go. I wonder if maybe I should look like it's like that could be a sign or something. If she's walking past the sign, maybe we could before it dries. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. It's like the tree is, the sign is blocking the remainder of the tree there. There we go. Okay. I like that. Um, then we've got our butterflies. We got a sticker. And, oh, my little arrow. It's for something rough. Let's put that down. I'll use a little wet glue on this one. Okay. 
and we'll just put it in the direction that she's traveling on her walk. And just stick that down. Okay, so that's my something rough. I got my dictionary page and my lined paper. Okay, bugs, insects, and a sticker. That's all I've got left. So for my sticker, I pulled out this sticker book and I saw a lot of pinks and stuff, so I thought maybe we could find something in here that would tie in with her dress, either a pink or a yellow or something. Um, and this is just a sticker pad from uh, Planner Book. I have a lot of them I'm trying to use up, so sticker here and sticker there, it adds up. Hmm. I like that hello. And I'll put it right there. So there's my sticker. Let's see if there's any others we can put down. We'll put the butterflies on that side to fill that in. A special day with this little pink special day, maybe. Maybe it's a special day for her. Incorporate some of that pink over to here. Put a little on there. That my stay. If not, I'll have to reinforce that with some wet glue. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that we want to put on here? No, I think that's it. Two stickers is good. Okay, let's put our butterflies down. Or moths, butterflies, moths, whatever. They look more like a moth, but. Either way, it works. Maybe we'll put this one over here in the tree or something, huh? I think so. A lot of black with these and then the black print, the ink on the dictionary page. I think that's a lot of black going on on that side. Try to balance that out a little bit. He's just hanging out all by himself in the tree. Okay. So we've got our bugs, our insects, lined paper, we've got that, a sequence of numbers, we've got that, something rough, we've got bark on a tree, as well as my corrugated paper, arrow, dictionary page, stickers, we've got a couple stickers. And I think that is it. And what is the date today? Today is the 9th, huh? I'll go ahead and put the 9th. Looks pretty full. Looks like a nice little full page there. I don't think I need to add anything. Mm. No, I think we're good. I'm going to call that one a wrap, guys. That 
It was fun, easy. That's why we like them. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you like the collage page. We'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.